All right, first thing we need to go over. What does this symbol mean? Similar. 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 Okay. What does it mean when I have an arrow on a line and another arrow on another line? Those lines are parallel. Okay, looking at number one. Determine if the triangles are similar by angle angle similarity. I have two parallel lines. When I have two parallel lines cut by a transversal, what does it create? Again? Alternating interior angles. So these two angles are congruent. These two angles are vertical angles. I know those two angles are congruent. So is this enough information to say that these are similar by AA? Yes. Okay. I have these triangles over here. They're sharing an angle. Angle L is the same size in both triangles. I have two lines that are con uh, parallel cut by a transversal. This kind of looks like that trapezoid a little bit. So I get corresponding angles. So I have angle, and these two angles are congruent. So yes, by AA similarity. Now we're into numbers. You have to find out by adding. So this is a 90 degree mark. It's kind of a faded. If I add these two up, 90 plus 39, I get 129. Need to subtract that from 180 to find the third angle. The measure of the third angle. You get 51. The measure of angle S is 51 degrees. This is 90, this is 51. That only means that this third side must be 39 degrees. So this is yes. By angle, angle, similarity. Okay, we're gonna skip number four because those numbers are too faded. Okay, number seven. This is a nine, if you can't see it. This is a 42. No, 14. So I'm going to start with the smallest side, which is 9, to find out if it's proportional. 9 over the smallest side from this triangle, 14. So to prove side, side, side similarity, I have to decide if they're proportional. 9 over 14, then pick the largest number, 27 over 42. Cross multiply, lost my calculator. Nine times 42, you get 378. 14 times 27, 378. So those two sides are proportional. I need to find if the third side is proportional, which is 13.5 over 21. I can set it equal to either of these. I'll pick the smaller number. So 13.5 times 14. Get 189. 21 times 9. Get 189. So all three sides are proportional. Yes by side, 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 similarity. Number 13. 
That's 48. 24. So determine if the triangles are similar by side angle side similarity. Well, I'm given vertical angles. Those are congruent. Both of these angles are included to the two sides given. The smallest side on this triangle is 6. The smallest side on this one is 24. The smallest side on, or the biggest side on this triangle is 22. The biggest side on this one is 48. Cross multiply, 6 times 48. 288. 24 times 22. 528. Are the sides proportional? No. So the triangles are not similar. Okay. Let's try this one. Vertical angles again. <clears throat> so before we even get started, is this vertical angle included in the two sides? No. It's not in it would be right here. Right here means it's included. It's in between the two sides. Right here it's excluded. Remember that word A S S? It wasn't a similarity or it was not a congruency. The same thing. It's not a congruency. Answer is no. Parallel lines. That makes these corresponding angles. So I can check that part off. Next thing I need to know are these two sides proportional? 22 or 36 over 22. Is that equal to 54 over 33? 36 times 33. Cross multiply, get 188, 22 times 54. Okay, so my two sides are proportional. My angles are congruent. Yes, by side, angle, side, similarity. You can leave 16 blank. Go ahead and staple tape or glue that in your notebook. It should take up a front and back. <clears throat> 